Thank you. And uh, it's interesting because I'm home, as, as Matt mentioned. So uh, two caveats. One, I'm home. I went to high school here and junior high here. So I, I raised my hand but had nobody to high five because I was in the stairwell. Uh, and two is uh, it brings up some things being home. So uh, without any further ado, let's get the party started. So I'm in my kitchen. As I am, my kids are going crazy. I have an ADD nine-year-old and an on his way to being ADD six-year-old. And my wife gets Harvard Business Review. It's the July-August issue. And I see the cover, and it's psychology and business. Think, feel, do. That's like the tenet of CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. So here I am with my MBA and my psychology degree, and I'm looking at this going, all right. Starting to get validated here. Not a big deal to my wife, not a big deal to my kids, but I'm thinking, this is good. And I said, what's inside? So I open it up, and lo and behold, change management, addiction recovery, 12-step, smart recovery in business. This, they're stealing my IP before I could even get it out there. It is Harvard. So I went to work. I'm thinking, this is what I do. I work with companies and individuals. I'm a change agent. I do change management, so I went to work. So I grab my kids' crayons, and I start trying to create an infographic that's going to somehow explain what I do to you. And then I realized, well, I am a psychologist and an MBA and not a graphic artist. So that didn't work too well. Nonetheless, it did hit me. What if we all are in recovery? Because guess what, folks? We are. See, the brain is designed to avoid pain. And we're mostly ready for the big ones. And when we talk about trauma, it's abuse, it's war, it's addiction. They feel bad, they're painful to go through, but everyone, even the person going through them, understands that it's painful. The realities of those, those things are somewhat acceptable because they are so, so bad. But the world moves pretty fast, and we move fast in it. So fast that maybe 10 years ago, we would have been taking offense to people on their cell phones or on their iPads as I'm speaking right now. But now it doesn't even matter because they got to do their Snapchat. They got to get their Twitter feed on. They got to get their Facebook up. Dr. J. Rich is talking, blah, 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 hooty hoo. <laughs> Let's keep telling the story. Bam, bam, bam. What about those things we think we got over? The last one picked. Sorry, I have no more gum for you. Your parents supported you not enough. Your parents supported you too much. By the way, world champion psychologist, MBA, currently ruining my kid's life. What about the traumas we forgot or don't even know that we have? These micro-abrasions, these discrete variables that exist almost any and everywhere. The ones we don't see or know we have. What about those traumas? So this is where the conversation gets interesting, and this is definitely a piece not from the performance book that I usually preach from. And as a psychologist, going through school and getting my clinical hours, I prided myself on not being the wounded healer. I'm an athlete. I'm an MBA. I've been to business school. I'm a freaking champ. I'm not hurt. I'm going to go out there and help these people. But then on my way to getting those hours, and I'm at the Indian Reservation, or at the school for children, or working with the soccer mom versus the soccer pro, working with the stage parent and the stage actor, I'm getting triggered everywhere. All kinds of stuff is bubbling up inside of me. Wounds that I didn't know I had. 
And yet here I am across from them, across from you, learning to deal with it, accepting it. And by the way, healing as I'm helping them. So one last story. On my way in my racing career, I thought, well, my first time I raced the world championships, I won. And I didn't know how I did it. Then years later, I was invited to the Pan American Games. The goal was to win, and I knew exactly how I did it. But during that time, I went to school and had a child, another one. And it was always my dream to get on the podium as a world champion and with my baby, and that was the shot. That was my Instagram shot. And it never happened. And then the Olympics came, and I had to make a conscious decision. So I'm getting old. I'm the old guy in the sport, and I'm thinking, I have to, or I'm going to approach this as if it may not happen. My thoughts going into Olympic year, coming off of a Pan Am Games gold medal was, if I make the Olympics okay, because my life is moving on. And not many people know, but it hurt like the Dickens, because I am a racer. I am a competitor through and through. And so this was the first time in my career where there was something that was going to happen that I was not going to be part of, and was a conscious decision. And I thought I was fine with that. I thought I was fine with that until I graduated with my doctorate. My dad, mother, wife, best friend, and son are in the crowd. And they call me up to get my diploma. And I go through the crowd and steal a kiss from my kid, who was maybe three or so at the time, and I accept my diploma. And I'm, I barely could even say anything, I was so moved to tears. And it just hit me that that was my healing moment. That was me recovering. And a lot of you guys may say, oh, boo-hoo, big you know, athlete guy doesn't get to the Olympics, woo-woo-woo. Right? But remember, this is about the trauma we don't know about. These are about the micro-abrasions. And I didn't know I was hurt that badly until I got my moment on stage with my son. My son at the time, had I won another world championship, would not have known dad was a world champion. But at that time, he knew what a doctor was because he had graduated from preschool. He knew what graduation was. And he knew what a doctor was because they help people. And that was my recovery. And I continue to recover, which is fine. So I hope we all learn to wear our wounds own them proudly because they all have a story to tell and they all have value. And in the end, they all help us help someone else who can then help someone else. Thank you.